I'm doing a microphone shootout between the Beta 58 by Shure, the Telefunken M80, and the Sennheiser E835S. That just means this is just because it's got a switch. If you didn't watch my previous video about how to make any live microphone sound better, please watch that. The link is up here, but I just showed you how I dialed in this first Beta 58A, and I'm gonna do the same thing with these next microphones, but I'm not gonna do a whole video about that right now, about how I make each of them sound good. I'm just gonna get them to what I think their ideal EQ and gain stages. First off, I've been talking on the Beta 58A. What you think? Okay, let me go to the next mic. Check, check one, two, check. So with the same settings as the Beta 58A with the EQ, you can tell this thing is way higher. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something about that EQ right off the bat. Let me bring it down here. Let me try turning up that gain a little bit. So for this microphone, I actually had to turn up the gain uh, I felt like it was a little bit thinner or something than the Beta 58A, a higher frequency response. Uh, so I turned down the high to about 1 o'clock, and I turned up the low to kind of give some body back to it. This is a really beautiful microphone. It sounds super professional, but again, it's like if you don't dial it in right, you might not know that you like it or not. So here's this one. Now for the E835 by Sennheiser. Check, 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 one, two. I turned up the gain even more on the Sennheiser, just a little bit more. It seemed to want it. And I actually brought the EQs down a bit more too. So the low, I brought it back up. And then the high, just below one o'clock. So just this microphone seems to be tuned for the vocals. The M80 seems to be tuned for the vocals, but not as much. And the Beta 58A, in my opinion, does not seem very tuned for the vocals. It seems like I could probably use the Beta 58A for other applications because it allows me to mold its EQ more. It seems like it's more versatile. I own all these microphones. I'm not sponsored by anybody, but I find that my vocal effect processor pedal just accepts the Shure Beta 58 better for like the harmonies and stuff between these three microphones. I hope that this video is helpful. I'm not telling you just buy this one, buy that one. Listen to all three of them back again. Please hit that like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see some of my live performance, I've got a link for that right here. Thanks for watching. Peace.